all is dark. Pray for me. All is dark. Pray for me. Those were the words being spelled out on our homemade Ouija board. Usually when we played, the letters were spelled very quickly. But on this occasion, the words came very slowly. Sometimes the room would go cold and you sensed an evil presence. It was chilling. And then very slowly, the message on the board would spell, all is dark, pray for me, over and over again. We always asked the spirits what their name was, and we'd say, what is your name? But we always got the same answer, all is dark, pray for me. Before the seance started, we would pray to God. We would ask God to send down the good spirits and keep away the evil ones. Of course, we never looked into the Bible. We didn't realize we were inviting demons into our souls. That's what the Bible tells us we were doing in Leviticus 20 verse 27. There were times sometimes when the Bible would raise and slam against the wall. This is known as telekinesis, the moving of objects by an energy force. Many years later, when I became a Christian, I discovered what I was dealing with. I found two scriptures, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4, For if God did not spare the angels when they sinned, but cast them into darkness reserved for judgment, and then again in Jude 3, angels who did not keep their own domain but abandoned their proper abode, he is kept in darkness for the judgment of the great day. Remember the spirits were saying, all is dark? That's where they are, in darkness. You see, Satan loves darkness. You have a choice to spend eternity in darkness or spend heaven with Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, he will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. My friend, you chose light. The spirit world is real. You have the dark world, or you have the light of the world, Jesus.